Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4! And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 33, we're gonna be doing some more one make races, because that's all we really gotta do until we get ourselves the B license. But last episode, we did the Hyundai Sports Festival with this purple Tiburon GT. That was a lot of fun, it was very competitive. A bit too competitive at some points, but I loved it all, the whole shebang. And um, in this one, we're going to do the Mazda RX-8 one make race. I think it's called like the NRA RX-8 Cup or something like that. It is a championship, five races. Uh, I don't think the races themselves pay much, but of course, because it's championship, it will. 246 horsepower, 207, 207. Um, what is the difference between these two cars? Is it the colors? Uh, I feel like they might come in the same colors, but they're all arranged differently. And there's Nordic Green. I mean, is that one coming? Yeah, it's the same colors, but the, it's all in a different order. I don't know. How, how do they set them apart? Uh, I like that red. I love the yellow, but I, we already know what happened with the Mazda 6. I don't know any more yellow Mazda. No. No. Um, I like the, the Nordic Green, to be honest, but it's basically black. And the blue is not the blue I want. I like the blue on the concept version. Let's go with red. I don't think we drive that many red cars. I would like another red car. I think we're probably gonna keep this throughout the, the duration of the game. I don't. I can't imagine actually getting rid of this thing. Yeah, it's just a nice car to have. I was correct. Yes, it's the NRA RX-8 Cup, and it's 2,000 credits per win, and then 15,000 for the championship. So it's 25,000 just like last episode, but arranged differently. We have to do a race multiple times. We're not gonna get paid as much for it as we did with um, that one last episode. Of course, we got the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, first things first. A special stage route five, forward. Fuji Speedway 90s. I guess we're never gonna race the newer version until we actually get to the, the better licenses. El Capitan, forward, and Sakuba. So all the forward versions, this is a nice selection of tracks. I think one, two, three of these tracks are real, and then a couple of them are just fictional. What the fuck? It says 285 horsepower. What happened to 246? I didn't do anything to this car. Trust me. Why did it go up? I don't know. Am I going to be faster than all the cars that are the same version as mine now? What? And there's only one other Type S here. He starts up front, so that's great. But where did all this nearly 40 horsepower addition come from? We already have 40 more horsepower than the freaking Type E and the regular one. I mean, the Type E and the regular one, they're all just the same damn car. Uh, I'm glad I chose to buy this in, in red. I am. I think I'm just going to focus and race because I don't really have anything to talk about right now. I swear, I really do have more horsepower than this other Type S RX-8. Okay, I need to shift up the third gear. 
But, I mean, you saw it in that straightaway leading up to the corkscrew that <laughs> I was catching him a good bit. And when I put it in first gear because it told me to, and then he, that, that was too much or, or too low. Okay, so a little less than two minutes a lap around this track with these very unique sounding cars. I don't remember them having this um, special one of a kind sound in Gran Turismo 3. I will say that the undersear in this car can be a bit uncanny at sometimes, but in other moments it's perfectly fine. I feel like, okay, let's slow it down, I'm missing the corner, and then it just keeps missing the corner nonstop. Yep. I do recall racing at Special Stage Route 11 with a Mazda RX-8 concept in Gran Turismo 3 like a year ago or so. That was, that was pretty awesome, except the car kind of sucks in that game. It's not nearly as great and high performance as this thing right here is. I mean, I got a bunch of understeer with the concept car. This, it, whenever I miss the corner, it's like the car just doesn't want to stop. <laughs> it can't stop missing the corner from that point on. Oh, the taillights in this thing look like a freaking Decepticon. Oh, and it's because it's the, the night racing and stuff. It's doing the shaky screen shit. Why am I hitting the wall? Why are you hitting the brakes like that in front of me? None of this is necessary. Slip past you. Gosh, it won't stop. If you're watching in 720p, you can't miss this shit. It's a freaking ugly. The game does such a shit. Y'all told me to put it in second gear. I put it in second gear. And then my car go, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, no, 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 you ain't doing that. Well, you told me to, game. Fuck you. I try to put it in second gear right there because they can pull away from me in the straight. And my car's got more horsepower than there. Why are they tapping the brakes right there? Send it on in. Take third. I gotta shift down, but whenever I do shift down, it flirts between the gears. Like, it wants me to go right back up to third as soon as I get down into second. Hate that shit. I like it whenever cars gotta do that. I've talked about this before, this shit bugs me. It's like I have to shift down because I can't make it in that gear. But then the moment that, ow. The moment that I do, it's, it's at the top of the next gear because I don't wanna drive any slower. Okay, into this quick S curve. It's the leader, he's really not that far ahead of the, the other versions of the RX-8 compared to the last race. I don't know why I shifted into first right there. They did not even ask me to shift into first. That, no, that's stupid. Uh, maybe this car goes through the gears quicker. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It just it feels like I'm at the top of the gears a lot more often. These, these evil Decepticon taillights. Oh, that is blinding. I love that. I think I am much better driving in this car whenever I shut the fuck up and drive. <laughs> and crash into as much shit and miss as many shifts as I did the first lap. The first lap was a 153.2. That was a rolling start, right? Why are you turning to the right? I'm not even touching the analog stick. And, well, I, I didn't look to see what my second lap was. Shit. I would still love to know why I have like an additional 40 horsepower now that I've bought the car. I gotta be a bit honest, I don't hear about Fuji Speedway in any motorsports aside from having played Gran Turismo 4. I don't know of any of the events that they hold here or any series that race here. And I know it's a real track and they do, but like, I never ever hear about it from all the people that like play all the different kinds of racing games and are all into the racing. I mostly watch NASCAR and stock car racing. And maybe some IndyCar and F1 here and there. But they don't race here, so I don't freaking know. Of course, because it's a dead stop start. We pass the leader going into the first corner. Two plus two equals four. Two plus two equals four. Oh 
my god! We're driving the same car! How the hell do I finish over 15 seconds in front of the guy in the same car? Yup. Yeah! El Capitan. I love El Capitan. One of my favorite tracks. You know what? It's a Dead Star race. It's gonna be the same shit as the last race. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go all the fuck out on that, uh, that giant speedy corkscrew, because I don't know what else the hell you call it. You come to the cave, you go up, and then you go way down real quickly. It's so awesome. I am going to... You only live once that shit. I'm gonna YOLO that stuff. You know, like the, the kids these days say. I say kids these days, but that shit came around whenever I was a kid these days. Kid. I'm I don't want to shift into third gear because we're trying to go through this turn over here. They don't want me to do that. Oh my, this this beautiful track. Of course, it's fiction because it's going to send me. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, God, be done. Oh. oh, we're missing this corner. That's not good. Mm. I remember this endurance race of sorts, that's El Capitan, and I used the BMW Z4 tuned up, and I was going up against this Bagani Zonda, and it was so freaking awesome. Yeah, there we go. Downhill quickly. Stick it in fourth gear. Turn it towards the curb. Quick off. That is how you do it. Love this track. Uh, I'm missing this hairpin now. But you've seen me race around this track before. What is there to see? Oh my god! 19 seconds! Yep. Alright, our last race is Tsukuba Circuit. And I have enough points to just skip this race. And you know what? That is what I am going to do. Why? Because I want to hope that they can give me some other RX-8 that's not as good as this one. You know, maybe one of the concept versions. And there, yeah, there's the 15,000 credits for winning the championship. All right, good, good stuff. Come on, hurry up. Now, what are you giving me? Concept, concept, RX-8 concept. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. I, th I thought it was the regular concept. I didn't think it was the race car. Okay, let's go use the race car. I think this is gonna be our first time actually driving a race car. We got the RX-7 old tuner car, put the NOS in that. And then we had an MMR Cup car, but um, th this is an actual race car. It says it right there. Do we have any other race cars? I think we have the Honda Civic Multiple race car, and that is race car, just wiping really old. <laughs> one, one point, one point race. Um, this is me just throwing away my opportunity to get 10 A spec points. So that this is nine less. Uh, who gives a crap? I'm just here to play the game and complete it. Oh my god, I had to turn off the driving aids and it scars me much faster and much more acceleration, more difficult to drive than any other car I've driven beforehand. Actually, to be honest, the Genetta G4 was harder to drive than this. I mean, this is a race car and the Genetta G4 had an extra horsepower and it's so tiny, so float like a freaking feather. This, on the other hand, it's got that weight to it it's supposed to handle so excellently. For a concept race car, this thing is the shit. Oh man, it's so great to finally hear a car like this in this game. I don't think we've heard anything like this beforehand. So I've been winning all these damn races by 15 and 20 seconds. Who's to say I don't win this race by a whole damn minute? Okay, we're gonna finish this off 
36.4 seconds ahead. And it could probably grow from that just because they have more of the track to go. Yup. Um, excuse me. Whenever I got into this race car and out of the other RX-8, at this menu it said 22.9%. So, I did that last race and it didn't change. Did I not have to do that? And does that mean that you don't actually have to finish a bunch of championships in this game to get 100% game completion? No, no, there's there's no way. It wasn't like that in GT3. Nah, nah. You... Whatever. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.